The 2021 audit plan is dynamic and ambitious. We're doing our best to serve the people of Denver in this time of great need. Agencies are facing increased pressure to spend large amounts of emergency funding, cut budgets where possible, and adjust to a work environment that changed virtually overnight. We're here to help make sure city agencies are achieving success responsibly and effectively. In 2020, we saw a drastic change that led to both innovation and risk. No agency in the city went unaffected by the COVID-19 pandemic. The social change happening in our community and the budget hardships caused by the start of a new recession. Our audit work in assessing systems, checking on financial safeguards, and helping to protect against the misuse of public resources is more necessary than ever. The new 2021 audit plan reflects this need and takes an ambitious approach to supporting the city in this time of turbulence. The auditor's office is required to put together a plan for the year ahead every October. This plan is subject to change based on the potential for unforeseen circumstances, which we certainly saw in 2020. My hope is that our robust 2021 audit plan will address some of the areas of highest concern for both our constituents and citywide leaders. Some of the most impactful audits that we'll do in 2021 will address some of the police department initiatives and programs that are relatively new. So we will take a look at those along with city sheltering efforts and COVID-19 related expenditures driven by new funding. We'll examine the city's financial control for federal relief funding, which is a huge source of money the city could not have anticipated having to spend or manage in such a short amount of time. We'll also look at small business loans and grants because many of our city's businesses are struggling and we want to make sure the city is doing all it can equitably and effectively. Other audits we have on our list include shelters, medical services for people experiencing homelessness, and the city's efforts to incorporate diversity, equity, and inclusion into programs and outreach. We will also continue to work on some audits from this year's plan, including construction and transparency in city agencies, public notice and outreach. The audit plan is a flexible document that may change throughout the year due to unexpected circumstances, as we saw in 2020 when COVID-19 impacted operations across the city. Our office is ready to help ensure the city is properly managing program performance to continue delivery of essential services without losing necessary controls that protect against the misuse of public resources. The independent audit function serves as a tool for good government, transparency, and accountability in the city. My office has crafted an audit plan that incorporates risk-based performance, financial, information technology, and contract compliance objectives. This plan delivers value and impact for Denver and will be conducted with the highest professional standards. Our 2021 focus will be on helping our city recover effectively from the pandemic, address diversity, equity, and inclusion, and support the people in our community most in need. Well, that's it for this episode of Ask the Auditor. If you have a question, submit it to auditor at denvergov.org and maybe your question will be the next question we answer on the next episode of Ask the Auditor.